In this training video, we're going to dig a little deeper into PowerRip Mod 1, and we're going to import a white layer file that we're going to generate out of Photoshop. So let's go ahead and get started. All I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file, and this works extremely well and very simply with a transparent background. So the first thing I want to do is I want to crop this image so that we have it centered in the design. So we can see it's offset a little bit. So the simplest way to do this is just to grab the magic wand tool. We're going to turn contiguous off. We can keep anti-alias on. That's fine. And we're going to select anywhere in the transparent section. It's going to select all of the transparency. We're going to go select inverse. So it's now selecting only the color layer. We're going to go edit, or rather, I'm sorry, image and crop. Now we've centered the design, but I do want to work with a little bit of space around the edges. So all I'm going to do is go back to Image, Canvas Size, and we're just going to increase this slightly. Okay. Now, whenever we import a file to generate a white layer, whenever there's a light area, if we use this file itself, what would happen is those light areas would be a light white, but on a dark shirt, we need those light areas to be dark. So that's why, one, we want to use a transparent background. It's going to make it very simple to convert this. So we're just going to take this layer, drag it down onto the New Layer tab, and we're going to rename these. We'll call this one Light White Layer. Second one we're going to call Color Layer. And we're going to go ahead and choose the white layer again. I'm going to zoom in here just to kind of show you what's going to happen. I want to, again, take my magic wand tool. We're going to turn the tolerance up high. It defaults at 32. I have this set to 250 because I want to select as much of this transparency as possible. And we're just going to simply choose uh, deselect, rather, contiguous, and select anywhere in the transparency. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so we have this blue image. We can see that the selection is right on the edge. But now what I want to do is I want to create a slight choke. So we're going to simply go to Select, Modify, Expand. I want to expand this by one pixel. Hit OK. Now with the white layer tab selected, we're just going to delete. Now I need to invert this image, so all I'm going to do is hit Control I. Let's deselect it first. Control I. All right. So now what you can see is we have this border all the way around. In other words, this white layer is a slightly smaller than the color layer. The only reason why I did this is because the rip handles it very well with trap. But sometimes when you have these really fine cuts and sharp edges and a lot of curves, you might see slight white poking out here and there. So this is just a simple, quick method to get rid of that issue even before it starts. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and intensify some of these darker areas. Now, typically the RIP would most likely use this layer here as you see it in generating a white reverse. So you're going to have a lot of light colors in here. But once again, what we want to do is we want to import the file so that we control some of these colors. We intensify them a little bit more than what the RIP can do standard. So all we need to do is we're just going to go to, uh, with the white layer selected, we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Once again, the rip handles as well, but sometimes some of these darker colors on a dark garment kind of get lost in the black of the shirt. So we're just going to uh, control this ourselves. So we're in the Levels tab, on the left-hand side, we see this is the dark slider, the right is the light slider, the middle is the mid-tones. So what happens if I take this and slide it to the right, all the areas that have dark are going to intensify even more. Now, I don't want to take it all the way or I'll just make 100% white. I don't want 100% white under everything. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it until everything looks pretty dark, but not too much. 
And that looks pretty good. But now I can also see in this area here where the palm, the top of the palm, it's not as dark as I really want it. So I'm going to take this mid-tone and slide it to the right just a little bit more. We're going to hit OK. So now this would actually generate a pretty nice white in some of those uh, darker areas. And the lighter areas are going to be even more intense. So what's going to happen is these colors are going to look really good on a dark garment, or even any color of dark garment for that matter. So if, in order for the, uh, the import file to work properly, the image has to be the size and the type of image have to be identical. So what we want to do, that's why we generate this from the same file. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose my color layer. I want to crop this back down again just so that uh, I know I'm edge to edge on my graphics so I have better control in the rip if I choose to resize it. So all I'm going to do is choose my color layer because it's the larger of the two in physical um, pixels. And I'm just going to select the transparent area. Again, go to Select Inverse Image Crop. And all we've done is we've cropped the image. I don't want to use it on my white because it would actually crop off my color areas. So now all I need to do is delete my color layer. Now I have a white layer. I'm going to save this. I can save it as a PNG file, but in this case I'm going to save it as a Photoshop file. Photoshop handles the imports much better than the PNG when it comes to importing white layers. So I'm just going to call this Speedway White, change it to Photoshop, and deselect layers so it saves it as a copy. Hit Save. I want to do the same thing with my color layer, so I need to go Edit, Step Backwards, so I get my color layer back. I'm going to delete my white layer this time. And I have a color layer now. And so what we're going to do is File, Save As. And we're just going to call this Speedway Color. And the format is Photoshop. Deselect the layers. Hit Save. Now we have two files that are identical in physical dimensions and file structure. And that's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and go into the RIP and show you how to utilize this feature. All we have to do is go to File, Create Print Job. Now we have predefined settings. And so what I want to do is I want to use the black cotton setting, 1440, 1440 color on medium white. This is our high resolution setting. I really like it, especially for a file like this. So we're just going to simply choose our white ink control, use this predefined setting as our base. We're going to drop down this menu here under White Layer Generation and choose Import from File. So all our base settings are around this high resolution file. And the only thing I'm changing is the White Layer Generation. We're changing it to Import from File. But we're going to save this. So all I have to do is click on Savings, Save Current Settings As, name it whatever I want. In this case, I'll just call it White Layer Import high res, so I know exactly what this is. So anytime I choose something else, it chooses those predefined settings. I go back to white layer import high res. It goes to the new settings I've saved. Now we want to go ahead and file import graphic. I'm going to go to our desktop, choose my color layer. And now I'm going to move this where I want. Choose my artwork tab, center it left and right. And now all I have to do is go to white ink control. On my white layer generation, just choose create. It's going to ask me where that file is. It's right here. Let's choose this. Hit open. Now I can choose preview to see what it looks like. Let's say this wasn't a black shirt. Let's just say it was something like a burgundy or maroon. So we can just choose our material color just to take a look and see what it looked like. So here's our white layer, which is more intensified. Here's our color layer in our preview mode. And all we have to do now is choose print. If you have any questions on using this feature or anything else mod related, please contact us. Our email address is support at belcat.com 
or our website is www.belquet.com.